third grade. Today we are going to be working on Think Central. On Monday, you had an assignment with us that um, we kind of walked you through how to get to Think Central and how to go and open um, a particular assignment. And today and tomorrow, so this is Tuesday and Wednesday, you are going to be working on an end of year second grade test. And it's not really a test test. It just is for us to be able to see what things we need to work on that maybe um, during the remote time um, didn't get um, co quite completed. But it is going to give us an idea of where everybody is. So we want you to do your best job, but I also don't want you to stress about it. Okay, so in fact, it's like 30 questions long. So we want you to do a, some of them. We want you to do maybe 15 questions and then 15 questions or maybe 20 questions and 10 questions tomorrow. But we, uh, I would like you to be able to do all 30 of the questions and turn it in before um, sometime on Tuesday and Wednesday. But you can break it up how you would like. But I'd like you to just do your best job because that gives us as teachers better ideas of what you know how to do. So um, I'm going to walk you through, I'm going to share my screen. We're going to, I'm going to walk you through how to make sure you find the assignment, how you, um, a, there's a video there about how to log into Think Central in case you forgot. I will go through that a little bit, but on my screen, it looks a little different. And I'll also show you how to, um, when you access that test, end of the year test, um, it's not really, like I said, it's not really end of the year test. In fact, it's math review, really, of second grade. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay. So here you are in um, Google Classroom. So make sure you're in Google Classroom. And when you are there, you're going to see something that says Think Central Math Review Tuesday and Wednesday. It'll be lit up and it'll look different for you because it'll be your assignment. And it will says watch the video. That's what I'm doing right now. No live lessons today. Then you're gonna log into Think Central, complete the assignment, use scratch paper to help you. You have two days to complete this work. Don't rush. Be sure to turn it in when finished. So you do need to go ahead and make sure you hit turn in when you're in Think Central. So here's the video. Um, you, if you can't remember how to get to Think Central, you're gonna click on this and it's going to take you to a video that will walk you step by step. There's Mrs. Robin's voice. Button, you want to go to the Google Chrome icon at the bottom. Click on that. See that? When the screen comes up, go to the upper left hand corner. Let's so show you how to log in. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. Um, you don't need, uh, it says you have a list of assignments. You'll have Monday's assignment, and if you turned it in, it won't be there anymore. If you, and Tuesdays and Wednesdays, since you're only doing half, you're going to not go all the way through the two on Tuesday, so then you'll save it, but you won't turn it in. You'll just save it, and then on Wednesday, you'll turn it in, and we'll be able to get the score. All right, so I'm going to pretend that I followed those directions from Mrs. Aubin, and I got to Think Central, and I'm going to find, um, it's going to, to look, it says end of year assessment up here, but again, we called it, you know, I think we said math review, because it's really last year's math. And so you'll notice that you'll have questions here. They'll show you that you have some, and it has a place where it'll read it for you if you need it to Think do about so. the first step question, then solve the problem. Okay. Think and about the first step question. You can repeat it as many problem. times as you want and you can move them on. So it says Margie has 17 balloons. Logan has eight more balloons than Margie. Botany has 13 fewer balloons than Logan. So, wow, we have Logan in this one. Um, so you're going to work through the problem and then so you come up with an answer and you're just going to go ahead and type it in with your numbers. Hopefully it's not 544 balloons. 
You're going to have to figure that out one on your own. And as you go, you're going to see it says next at the bottom. So you can hit next and it'll take you to your next answer. Now, sometimes it has a pull down here. So this is trying to see if you know how to label. So it says, how many loaves are left? There are blank, and then they give you this, hmm, of bread left. So it says, how many loaves are left? So you're gonna click on loaves, and that is your, that's, this is where the math part goes, and that's your label. And you're gonna just keep going, and there are, and you can hit click on that, and that'll take you to the next question as well. Um, Again, you're gonna have lots of little pull downs. The number of circles is even and odd, odd or even. You just click on the one you like and it will help you. Um, this is an array. It's a, it says then complete the two equations for the array. They want, they want to know how many pairs are in each row. So you're just gonna click inside there and so on. All right, and when you're done with that one, you can either oh, always scroll down because there may be more of the question down below. And then go ahead and hit next and scroll up. Okay, so you're gonna go and you'll notice I've got 15 questions, 20 questions, oh, this one, we, oh, 25, there you go, and 30. And so you are not going to finish all of this um, by any means. And so um, when you are halfway through or as much as you think you want to be finished, um, you can go ahead and get out of that. And, or, um, your help. Uh -huh. yeah. um, you can go ahead and be finished for that time and go ahead and, act, oh, um, it'll look a little bit different in your, yours. You'll be able to get out of it. Oh, you can go back to a problem too. If you think, oh, wait a minute, I missed, I, I did that one. You can always go back and forth. And then you're going to have a button at the bottom that either says turn in or save. Mine looks a little different because it's the teacher view. So go back and so on Monday, today, uh, go ahead and go down and hit um, save and it'll save it for you for next time. And then you'll, it'll have the answers that you've already previously had and it will let you add other answers to the ones you haven't finished. And then when you finish the whole thing on Wednesday, then you're gonna go ahead and hit submit and, or turn in, I think it says turn in um, or submit. And then that will give you, that will, close it up and give us the final answer, our final score, okay? So like I said, please don't stress about it, just do your best because it helps us as teachers know where we need to help um, you know, fill in maybe some spots from second grade um, that we will need to do as, as we're working on third grade curriculum. All right, friends, do your best job for me, I know you will. Okay, um, again, if you need to go back and look at the video for um, how to get back into Think Central. Um, go ahead and do that, and I will wish you good luck.